everyone, my name is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. This is week one of NaNo. I'm technically filming this on day seven, so I haven't gotten to write today, but I am super stoked about my progress. And before I get going, if y'all haven't already, go to my Instagram or your Instagram and do the challenge hashtag NaNoWriMo prompts and I put together a whole monthly thing for you guys and I would love to see your answers to those questions. So far we've talked about our story and our pro tag and an tag, our favorite lines and our word count and we're gonna just keep going with some fun stuff for the rest of the month. So I would love if you tagged me so I could see your answers. Also, um, if you caught my live stream about uh, the creative flow of Prepped Over, I was making my list of Taylor Swift songs that I want to make as my chapter headings for this book that I was jokingly calling a summer of flings and flames. <laughs> and um, I was trying to go through her songs and was like, what would be a good title for this? And I think I found one and it's not like taken by this genre at least in age group and so I'm really hoping I can use that title and it's just like perfect especially if my book ends up not being a happily ever after so um yeah fingers crossed <laughs> okay but okay so this was the first week of NaNo I was able to write every day hallelujah and um it was usually between a thousand or just under and then just a little bit over 3,000 words. Um, I typically like writing 5k days but if you caught my Project Emma one I was also editing and revising that. I didn't count it toward my nano goals but um, I you know that was a lot to do for that week so I'm hoping I can really beef up. Usually I finish nano in like two weeks um, or three and then um, that's like my whole draft and then I can do a read through the last month and beef it up another 2k to 5k. Um, I'm hoping to do that again but we'll see. I have off the entire week of Thanksgiving so I'm super stoked about that. So if you saw my Instagram I try to plot out 24 chapters which is just a joke to Katie because my act one and act four <laughs> act four Mm. Act three <laughs> are always like shorter. They're like four chapters maybe. And so I had like six and then even just from what, what I was writing in chapter one, it already had changed my whole progression of my outline. And so everything was off, but I loved what I was putting in and I was just kind of combining things and pushing things and like it was working out and I really loved what I was putting in there. And I have to write every day to remember those details going forward. I don't know if y'all are like that, but um, I really feel lost on things I've included. Like even reading back what I, I was reading back for my favorite lines for the NaNoWriMo prompts challenge. And I was like, oh yeah, I put this in there. Like I totally forgot that my dude is motion sick. Like <laughs> he gets sick watching things spin and I forgot I put that in there. Um, and so it's things like that. Like I really just need to write down after I write things like that. But currently I'm in chapter four and this is when the inciting incident is going to be happening. And then chapter five is kind of her debate beat. And um, I have a lot to pack in there. When I made this outline, I thought like I legit wasn't going to have a lot to write about. And it turns out I do. And I'm like, this first act is already at almost 14k. And I was shooting for 15k because I was kind of shooting as at a 60k overall. But I also was trying to fast draft. So I was hoping for just a fast version so that if I had to rewrite it, it wouldn't be a major deal, but <laughs> here we are. And so if it ends up being more cool, because that's hopefully a projection that like maybe I'll get closer to 70K or something. But today I'm hoping to get through with chapter four. I would love to get through chapter five. I really would like to get through the whole first act today because then that kind of sets the pace of like a weekly act per week and by act I mean act two part one act two part two and then <laughs> act three but I also thought that I had created the lie for my person of being um that guys and girls are gonna break your heart and it's better to not get attached basically and she has that because of like things that have been told to her and then her experiences and then I was writing a her and her ex's breakup and I found another lie and like a better lie, which is that um, no one is going to risk themselves for her. 
and it played perfectly because my her other love interest is not a risk taker and at the end I had his grand like gesture of him being like taking a risk and so it was like pieces together I love when that happens and so like he's gonna take a risk for her and then that's her lie and I was just like ah perfect <laughs> I just love when things happen like that and it's always when I'm just writing like I'm still trying to figure out their personalities I had Lincoln being like this certain dude and he uh, has kind of not been that guy <laughs> Um, and so I'm really trying to work with them. They have like this fun banter going, which is totally because my husband and I have been watching Schitt's Creek. I've already seen it, but he's watching it now. And this happened the last time I watched it as well in that their joking banter comes across in my writing. And so, um, I did want this to be a fun, flirty, bantery book, but it's more so because that's what I'm watching right now. And so, um, that's been really fun to put in. They're totally teasing each other, making fun of each other. Like it's just so fun and they're going to have that fake relationship. So they get to be even more over the top, messing with each other, pretending to like each other. And I'm just going to have so much fun with it. I'm so excited for their fun and games. There's a couple of things I'm like iffy on what I created. Cause I tried to create a teamwork, work team challenge. And then her, one of her antags, like I'm trying to make sure that her reasoning for not liking Harper is good enough and um, has enough basis for it to make sense. Um, especially with how far she's going on certain things. Um, I wrote a scene the other day that I was just like, oh, that's, that's, that's pretty far. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do about that one. I'm leaving it in for now because it like goes with Harper's Shards of Glass, but, um, it's been really tough. This book has been really tough already because of her flashbacks and, um, I'm putting just a lot of stuff in there. Um, there's a lot of me again, but not really, um, like could have been basically. And it's like my other two books were so light and sweet. Like it was just kissing basically or hand holding or like maybe the feels, but nothing past that. And it was so funny because I was watching Alexa Dunn and her like group do the middle grade versus young adult chat. And they were talking about how if you don't have like sex in your conversations in young adult, like it's not realistic. And I was like, who? <laughs> like when I was in high school, like I heard about it, but I never like, I wasn't dating anyone to talk about it. And so, um, I didn't put it in goals or project Emma and it doesn't really fit there, especially for the time frame and for like the together and break up like it's just not there and so I'm not gonna like force it in there if my agent says something like cool but with um a, a summer of flings and flames um it like that is part of her story and so um I think it's like a perfect segue if my agent lets me do this to come out with goals and then project Emma and then this book <laughs> and then it would like segue into adult because it's already kind of that content um not showing anything but just kind of talking about it and flashbacks of stuff um and just having that already there and then going into adult like it'd be the perfect setup for a reader to just keep reading through that and so um I'm really excited about that plan if that plan happens <laughs> but yeah so that's kind of how my nano has been um I'm keeping good on my word count and still trucking along. I think on like day two or something, I literally stared at my document and that was the first time that like never happens to me, but I had no idea where to go. I just knew I needed her to talk to Lincoln. And then I inserted her other like friend and it like all tumbled from there. And I was like, oh, thank goodness this was perfect. <laughs> so yeah, if y'all are stuck, just try to think of like introing someone else or um, find a writing prompt on Pinterest or something, throw in some weather, throw in like a curve ball and just keep writing, like write that situation. I hope y'all are having a great first week of NaNo and now we're in week two. By the time this comes out, I will be in the middle hopefully of my fun and games but i'm updating you guys on instagram so if you're not already following me go over there and do that and then also do the hashtag challenge as well let me know how y'all's nanos are going down below and if you're not doing nano what you're up to this month i hope you have a great week and happy writing